Ignaz versus uh versus Rob versus a Bitman, the Rob. Let's see, let's see. Now this is this is like one of the best tests on how good you are as a player. <laughs> being, yeah, being able to play against Rob is he's been so good at this game for so long, and he just doesn't really fall for a lot of gimmicks. No, he does not. So you you really gotta outplay him a lot of times to just take the double over him. Yeah, so Ape Man's one of those players like you, you. I have to go through their strides. You really have to outplay him to beat him. He's one of those players that doesn't really fall for a lot, and if he does, it's more of like he was caught doing something, or he thought he could challenge you in that situation. It's very, very rare. Good opportunity for him to actually go off the stage, try to get a downer before you see the uppy. But uh, something I like about Marth, especially versus Rob, is that like once he gets a hit on him, he can just oh, take no. him. Oh no! He did an early up B because like, he was scared of Rob going off stage and like yeah. you know, attacking him, so he and tried to hit him first. It's respectable. But, uh, yeah, that was just a bad, bad spacing on up B. But uh, yeah, I like Marth for calm wing Rob especially, and he's just so big that you can just hit, you can hit him for a really long time. Really, really good stuff for Marth. I see him going for the shield breaker a lot. Might be trying to pop the bubble, but uh, Avian Man's not really shielding in that spot at all. Ooh. See, so if, if uh, Rob tries to land on top of Marth with uh, an air, if you're spaced well, oh god, he just threw it out. The tip or force smash to get out of my face. But uh, yeah, if Rob tries to land on top of Martha and safely, that's like an up tilt, up air. A lot of really good juggle opportunities for Martha. So if Ignace kind of like hangs it, hangs back a little bit, tries to punch AB Man for that, he can get some hard punches. But right now, yeah, AB Man's going for some down tilt strings. Not really getting that much for war, but okay, there's a down smash, sends him off stage. No snipe with the. Uh, the laser, oh. but yeah, missing the ledge there. He tried to stall off stage a little bit, try to mix up his recovery, but Ape Man's still finding the spike and uh, air dodge off stage. Ooh, that's not that's not good. No bueno at all. Ape Man didn't even have to hit him at on that stock. He he just kind of sealed his own fate there. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I. I do kind of agree. I don't agree with so, someone in chat says Sephiroth will be mid tier. My opinion is I actually think Sephiroth will just be better Marth. I actually right, buddy, solely believe buddy, that. Let me tell you something right now. If you think Sakurai is going to add one of the most powerful, badass villains to this game and he's going to be mid tier, I, I don't know what's in your head. I don't know how you see Sephiroth one shot the final boss of the game and say yeah that looks like a mid-tier to me like, what <laughs> oh are you are you what's working he's not, he, what's he's, working he's not gonna be mid-tier dude this character no. whatever See, you ganon wanted mark to be ganon isn't dlc that's something you need to realize yeah that's, if ganon, ganon was not DLC. dlc you think he would come on buddy all right anyway they're making two, you man. they're making you pay 499 they're not gonna make the dlc character bad i do think i do think sephiroth will replace marth in the like being a swordsman in where Marth used to be, Sephiroth will be there. I think Sephiroth will either be as good or better than Lucina. But we'll see. We'll see. Wait till Thursday. Yeah, we'll wait till Thursday. I do, I do think Sephiroth will be amazing. Yeah, I, I don't, there's no way. If Sakurai add, adds Sephiroth to the game and he's not good, I I will not understand anything. <laughs> he can't make wait. you pay four ninety nine for a character that's a mid tier. There's no way. I'm sorry. I I don't think I don't think Steve is that bad, but I I do think like. There are a few characters that I'll have to say, like, they're not as bad as you think. I think all the DLCs are pretty relatively high tier. Maybe one or two is mid tier, but we could talk about that off the yeah. match. Let's get right back into it here. Ignace, 70, 84% of Ape Man. Oh, what tip Ignace is match? actually bodying Ape Man, actually. He juggled him for, like, up bears for 76, got one tech chase or a spot dodge punish, killed him with tip or forward smash. Oh, oh good, brilliant good, good, counter. Good, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was actually so smart. All right, let's see. Let's see how far he can push this Lee versus Avid Man. I already know Avid Man's trying to even things up quickly right here. There's I mean, the up tilt into the up air. That's a good juggle for Marth already. Ooh, he is applying so much pressure on Avid Man. Okay. Oh, with the grab in his face. Luckily, though, Avid Man can fight back pretty quickly. 
Wow. Good. I, see, I respect that too. He wanted to actually mix up the timing with Dancing Blade because there's ways you can get around your opponent that way. He just narrowly missed the timing because he went for more of a full hop than a short hop. Oh, yeah, missing good. the deck on that. It's going to lead to the down smash from Aven, man. But he is at very high percent. So Ignaz can definitely steal the stock before things get uh, out of control. Oh, the up smash. And then following up with the zipper up air, only taking 10%. Great juggle. There's another up tilt. Yeah, I really like the up tilt strings from Marth on Rob. Like, he's so big that you can get a lot of combos from that. The zipper downer lagging off of the, the gyro. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He was just trying to read his soul with the, the downer, seeing if he aired off shelf stage. This is looking really bad for 8 Man right now, I gotta say. Oh, oh. looking bad indeed. No tech for Ape Man in that situation. Did you see the, the wave? Oh my. He caught, he caught this oh man landing. He caught God. this man landing. He got mixed so hard. Damn, what happened? I don't. That was like nothing like the first game. Nothing like the first he got game destroyed. indeed. What? Igne is adapted, man. That's all I'm going to say. There's no other way to put it. Igne is adapted. Oh man. Wow, that mid tier Marth, dude, crazy. Can't believe he did all that. Mid tier Marth. Man, I guess Rob must also be mid tier with how bad he just got beat up. <laughs> that was good though, because the way that Ignace was able to play that on stage, she was looking to see how Ape Man was going to land. I think that's a really good way to punish characters. Is like you need to really read the landing, and for specifically against Ape Man, you do need to read his landings and Snake, Snake as well. Those are two actual characters you have to really try to read their landings rather than to try to go off stage and challenge them because both of those characters can stall really well off stage. And Ignis had the really good mindset of just waiting for that character to land. All right, yeah, well, game three. Yeah, he did a really good job, like you said, of uh, just not falling a victim to Rob's ridiculous offstage pressure. He was either starting his recovery, saving a jump, even throwing off the counter at times. Yeah, offstage. it was really oh, smart good. how he played it. Yeah. All right, so now we got Kalos from Aben Man. A little bit more space to see if he can get the gyros in play. Maybe even the lasers as well. Really good Rob stage overall. The platform is even helping too if he's going to choose to recover. In some different uh, angles as well. Oh, the gyro snipe? No, okay. still able to recover. Mart's crescent. Mart's up B is really good. It has de de decent range. Yeah, dolphin size is great. You can cover him back from super far. Nice gyro from Ape Man. Trying to avoid all pressure on the platform. You saw it in the last match. Uh, Ignis was just able to keep him, keep him guessing when he was stuck on the platform. Yeah. He got a lot of mileage out of that. Okay. Oh, took Could've... the gyro at play. Ooh, nice snow jump. The whole time? Yeah, that was good too. And he even, he even dropped it down just to try to see if it gets something on an Ape on shield. Almost Ape had the man, forward bro. smash here. Nice. Yeah, down really air, like nice. It. He's really smart about delaying his down air too. Ape Man can't really get a timing on when he should try to parry that or like drop shield or whatnot. Okay, yeah, that'll take the stop. And that's the hey. thing too here with Marth and Lucina, if you are able to delay your aerials, they're really good against your opponent because they'll usually let go of shield or they can shield poke because of how small the shield got. And specifically for Marth, it's a lot of big stuff for him because he can also go for things like brave, um, shield breaker or down as you can see. Yep. Ooh, another tip right there. Popping him in the air with the neutral air and then comboing off of that. Avian man though, still in a decent position. Really like the gyro placement for him. The traps are making it really difficult for Ignace to get back to the ground safely without taking some type of percent. Oh. Uh, no, no second back air. Only yeah, the first he one. Yeah, actually um, did the weak back air to fast fall up air to combo, but he didn't go for it. Oh, okay, forward out of shield. Applying a lot of pressure off stage. Nice, goes, goes back off the stage. Yeah. Oh my God, this is a lot of percent. This and is no the weakness of Rob's recovery. No hitbox on that. Every time he commits to that OB, he's pretty much a sitting duck. And uh, yeah, Ignace is trying to capitalize that heavily. Great shield from Ape Man, though. Was really in danger of getting uh, tippered there. Okay. Yeah, uh, definitely tippers are easier to hit a character like Rob, just because he's a very big hurtbox. Nice stall in the recovery from Ape Man. He doesn't want to give him a free down there. 
Oh, no tip for Neb, but still keeping him out. Oh, missed the tech? No dancing blade. Okay, another great down tilt. Very similar to Lucina, if you get a down tilt, uh, you can follow up with the uh, down smash most of the time. And, yeah. Uh, I think they even made his uh, down smash tipper a little better too, so... Yeah, it has more knockback too as well. Yeah. Oh. Off stage again. Oh, good trade. They're going to go for that up air. Mm, oh, what a trade. Stocks. Wow. What a trade. I, he chose to trade the stocks instead think, of going back to the ledge. I think it was worth it for the aggression. He's literally letting AP Man know, I'm not going to let you stall with those recoveries, even off the deep end. And then AP Man definitely kind of recovered around that when he hit him with up air. That's very strong for Ignis. Yeah, that was oh, great. Even if you trade stocks and put things at even, it's good to demonstrate your aggression. Oh. Gets your opponent know. thinking, tipper forward till here, strong control of the stage. Oh man, he's doing a lot of good corner pressure with Marth. Aven Man struggling to get to the center stage, but fights his way out of the corner with the forward air. And there's the gyro. Oh man, that was very scary for Ignis, but he's still playing really aggressive in some uh, unexpected spots. I think it's throwing Aven Man off a little bit. Down to the wire here. Oh, there's the gyro. Yeah, okay. good, good for him to go for the laser there, especially in the tech situation. Ooh, nice. Oh, close to the back air. A lot of good setup here. Yeah, he has to be careful in the recovery. Yeah, but that was a great up B to get past the gyro. Oh, the tipper in there is not enough, but he's deep off stage again. The gyro coming in clutch, dude. Avid man. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's juggling that gyro from so far away. Yeah, there's a reason why he's a veteran. Good tech. Tech rolls out to the, to the right, but look at all the stage control Ape Man has here. Good nice. gyro toss upward, beam to kind of hold him in place. Look at him. He's looking for that read on Ignace. 177 to 118, and the oh, forward nice, air off the nice. stage. Nice catch. Called out the jump. And, uh, caught that air dodge too. Ape Man. Clutching that game. That was super, super close. Super close indeed. That was a lot of great play from coming out from Ape Man on Gyro, but also understanding the position that he gets from using laser. And when he goes for that situation, we saw it when he got the tech chase on Ignaze because he went for laser on the tech chase, but it, he understood, you know what? If I go for laser here, I get stage control and Ignaze had to be at the right side of the stage where he feels a lot of pressure. And then Ape Man was able to catch him with a toss from the Gyro up or he was able to go for an aerial. And that was really strong from Ape Man. Just understanding the positioning he needed to have against a character like Marth, who's very dangerous when he has a lot of zoning, but a lot of tippers. And we talked about it earlier, right? Like, Rob is such a big hurt box. The tipper for Marth is really good against Rob. Yep, tippers aren't easy, to, aren't, uh, aren't hard to get against Rob. Especially with the, the update, made it so much easier to get tipper up air, back air, etc. All right, but Ignace, his counter pick here in the best of five. Let's see what he goes to. Aiden Man only needs one more to move on in the loser side of top eight. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. So yes, people are saying he also plays Lucina, but not seeing it yet. He has a lot of faith in the Marth, it seems. Yeah, the Marth, the Marth is definitely putting in work tonight. Alright, Pokemon Stadium 2. Ooh, nice pivot grab. Nice, stalls oh, the aerial. Wow. We talked about how stalling aerials for both Marth and Lucina is so good for the character. You're able to put out a lot of pressure, but also you're just able to catch your opponent a little bit better that way. Yeah. Also, just a hard call out on Aiden Man's like panic air dodge. Yeah, you could he could have just easily done a down throw up here like without even waiting for the um, air dodge, and it would have got tipper too. But I like the choice of waiting for the air dodge. Yeah, I think Ignis... if you can, like a hard follow up air, you can get a bigger combo too. Mm -hmm. okay. Nice dancing, or sorry, dolphin slash. Ooh, not a bad trade for Aiden Man. Unsafe forward air on shield. That'll be the side. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you have to DI that up there really well to live that. Wow, counter there. Called out the um, up air through the ledge. Oh, tilt, yep, into yep. the uh, so, tipper up air. Yeah, so weak 
uh, aerials from Marth actually do combo into Tibbers a lot of times. So that was a uh, really good. I think that's the best thing for Marth here when it comes to oh, between him and Lucina. Oh, wow. Yeah, he comboed weak forward air into Tipper forward air there. And that gave him 70, 80, 96%. Ooh, Nair one and tougher. A lot of aggression coming out from Ignis. Big up B out of shield too. Tries to get the Dolphin Slash stage spike, barely missing. Aven Man, he's on his on the ropes right now. Oh, unfortunately for Aven Man, the down smash sending him towards the stage instead of off the stage. Oh, good yeah, call like for that. the forward smash. Yeah, I like the fade back forward smash. See if you can catch Aven Man slipping, but not working out just yet. This game, he's, he's using a lot more Dolphin Slash out of shield, and it's working out really well for him. Okay. Aven Man, though, trying to... Not get caught uh, on the defensive too much. Get some control back in the game. Oh. Great laser. Got the gyro snipe, but catches it. Oh. Doesn't fall for the up smash. Stuck on the platform here. Gotta be careful. Where's David, man? No tipper, so he's still living. Nice. Nice. Ignane's Good. looking for an opportunity here. Yeah, this is very scary for both players, though. Doing a solid job, so able to run in with shield. And what oh. a call out on the roll from the Dolphin Slash. Yeah, that Dolphin Slash is huge for him this game. Oh my god, barely got the tip for uh, Nair out in time to avoid the uh, up smash. Oh, the gyro again. Man, he's barely getting to the ledge in time, but there's the grab. Yeah, just get the platform just to make sure he's dead. And now, Ape Man one stock away from moving on here. Let's see what Ape is going to do. Okay. Already off to a good start. Ape Man's trying to find a way to approach. Getting really tricky, uh, tricky with the gyro, but wasn't able to get a pretty big combo off of that, unfortunately for him. Oh, the pressure. Oh, yeah, I mean, good opportunity for him to understand where gyro is at. Good pressure, good damage. Ape Man has a little bit of a lead here. Nice. He wanted him to jump, and that was oh, an excellent oh, opportunity for him to go for oh, it. He's out. Snipe? He's out. No He's out. Jump. Gone. Aven man, seeing the opening for the kill, immediately sniping him out with the gyro. Ignaz is out of the tournament, going three-one against Aven man. But definitely, definitely put up a good fight. I would say. Did some really cool stuff with the mark. Yeah, I gotta say, I, I uh, definitely enjoyed watching Marth in a uh, top eight. It's really fun to watch. Yeah, definitely uh, something I different.